One of the best functionalities about Performance Max campaigns is that you can set up targeted asset groups that contain targeted ad copy, images, videos, and landing pages which align the user's search term with your ad copy and then the landing page. And this is the reason for why Google Ads designed Performance Max campaigns to have asset groups. Despite what some so-called YouTube experts are pushing, when you create asset groups, they should only be created around groups of products or groups of services and not around different types of audiences. And the reason for that is because as you go through and set up your asset groups and you add in your audience signals, you'll see this green bar pop up, which says that Performance Max will go beyond your selections to find new conversions. Plus, remember that a core functionality of Performance Max campaigns is that they have an inbuilt discovery campaign in them. So by design, Performance Max campaigns will go out beyond any selections that you give them to find new audiences and keywords that are gonna relate in new conversions. So you need to understand that with Performance Max campaigns, inside of your asset groups, any selections that you give them, so any selection of keywords or different websites that they should target or the different audiences or the data signals that you give to Google Ads, Google will only use them as a very, very rough guide and it will go beyond those selections. So with Performance Max and especially asset groups, you need to understand that you cannot, and I will repeat, you cannot limit those asset groups based around audiences or selections of keywords. The only restrictions that you can create inside asset groups is through selecting your listing groups, so selections of products, or you can give the asset group a collection of different URLs to target. And for the URL option, you do need to go through and set that up in their final URL expansion settings. Now the reason for why you need to firstly understand that before we go through how to optimize the different ad assets that you have in your asset groups is because when you're creating the ad copies and selecting the images and also the videos for your asset groups, you wanna make sure that they are all related back to that specific group of products or that specific group of services that you're targeting inside this asset group. And before we get into today's teaching of me taking you through the process of how to optimize the ad assets inside your asset groups, and you wanna know more about why you should only be setting up your asset groups based around groups of products, just stick around to the end of this video because I'll be putting up a link so that you can watch some further free training on that exact topic. And just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And this step-by-step -step tutorial that I'm gonna be taking you through, showing you exactly how you can analyze and also optimize your different ad assets in your Performance Max campaigns is one of the core optimization actions that you need to be completing inside of your Performance Max campaign. And to make sure that you are not only completing all of these core optimization actions, but that you're also completing them at the correct time and in the correct way, I wanna help you with this and give you access to my free Google Ads e-commerce optimization checklist. And I do wanna stress that this has just been updated. So this is the latest version. So even if you've got my previous optimization checklist, still go through and follow that link in the description so that you can get the current most up-to-date version of my optimization checklist for Performance Max campaigns. So with all of that said, let's get into today's Google Ads tutorial. Now, when we're talking about optimizing your ad assets in your Performance Max campaign, I wanna confirm that what we're talking about here is going through and reviewing all of your individual ad copy headlines, long headlines and descriptions, plus also reviewing the different images and videos that you have assigned to your asset groups. And what we wanna go through here is that we wanna take out and remove any of those that have a low score, which has been given to you by Google. And we wanna add in some new ad copy or images and videos with the purpose to be able to increase our click-through ratios and also our conversion rate. So we're going through the process of split testing different headlines ad copies and images and videos until we find the highest level of click-through ratio and conversion rates for your campaign. And let me right now show you of how we go about 
this process in a screen share. So to go through this process, you want to be in an individual Performance Max campaign, then you want to go into your asset groups. And then when you're in your asset groups, you want to go into this view details little button down here. And when we click on that button, you'll actually come through and you'll see the score which Google gives. Now in the performance column, I do need to stress that Google will only give you three scores. It'll either be low, good, or best. And what we want to do is we want to go through these ones which are rated low and we want to change them to see if this increases our click-through ratio and our conversion rates. Because what will happen as you can see through here with our headlines, we've got our five different headlines and Google will always mark the best performing one as best. And then the remaining of the headlines or the different ad assets will either have a good or a low score. And this happens the same for your long headlines and also your descriptions and then also your different images and your videos. So what we would do through here is you can see this one, it's got a low score and it's saying that this is our lowest performing asset. And then we can also see this one in here. This is our other lowest performing asset. So what we just need to do is we just take a little mental note of which one and then we go through and click this blue pencil icon. And what we're going through here is we know that this one here was our lowest performing. And then what I've done through here is I've just updated a new headline that we want to test. And then once we've added that, we can then replicate this for the headlines and also the descriptions. And once we're happy with all this, we just need to go through and click save. And then I just want to go back into this view details because what you'll see here is that this is now pending. And what that means is that we don't yet have enough data for Google to be able to give you a new review. And you can also notice in here as well is that this headline here saying includes video tutorial, it was good, now it's low. And the reason why it's low is because this one is now the current lowest. So what we know from these other ones is that these other, previously there were three that were related good, but this one, was was obviously the lowest of those three. So if we wanted to, we could go back in here and this was in regards to the video tutorial. And what we can do is we can now add this in and see if changing that to include step-by-step -step videos makes any difference to the performance of that headline. And then once again, come down and click save. And then we can just go back into this view details again. And we can see from here with these headlines, it's all got good, good, best. And then these two new ones are now pending. And as I said, we can go through and do the same process for these long headlines and the descriptions. And and then we can also go down and review our different images. And then as we can see from here, with all of our different images and also our different videos, we don't have any others that have a low ranking score. And then what I wanna show you here, this is actually the e-commerce checklist that you can get if you follow that link in the description. And this is what we completed in here, where we reviewed our ad assets. And what you could do is you could make a note in here saying on the 21st of November, we updated two new headlines. And if you wanted to, as an extra bonus tip, you can actually add in those old headlines which had the low score in here. And you can see here that I've written replaced the headline includes video tutorial. And then what that does is that that just means that when we come back the next month, because I do recommend that you update these and review your ad assets monthly. When you come back into this section, we then now know which headlines we have used. So we're not going through and testing that same headline again. And remember, if you wanted your copy of your e-commerce Google Ads optimization checklist so that you can go through the process of all these optimization actions, and you can see from here, I've marked the ones which are for your Performance Max campaigns. All you need to do is to follow Follow that link in the description below. So now you've got the updated copy of my e-commerce Google Ads optimization checklist. What I want you to do right now is I want you to go through and review those ad assets in your own Performance Max campaigns and start going through that regular monthly split testing process where you're testing to find it the best performing headlines, descriptions, images and videos so that you can increase those click-through ratios and ultimately conversion rates on your Performance Max campaigns. And remember where I said at the start of the video how you need to set up your Performance Max campaign asset groups based around collections of products or services and not audiences. If you would like to see my free YouTube teaching on that, all you need to do is to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in my next video and remember to turn on that notification bell so that you never miss when I release a new video. See ya.